And welcome, folks. Welcome to another strange game. Saturday, and the Necroscope. And believe it or not, we're playing Duke Nukem. But Duke Nukem, like a lot of people, might not have seen him. Now, for me, the epitome of awesomeness in Duke Nukem form will always be Duke Nukem 3D, as I'm sure it is to a lot of other people. However, many of my sort of younger subscribers may not be aware that there was actually some games before Duke Nukem 3D. And this is a, where Duke Nukem originally came from. You might be shocked, you might be stunned. But here we go folks, we're going to go play, firstly, Duke Nukem Episode 1, Shrapnel City, which I'm pretty sure was renamed to Shrapnel City in Duke Nukem 3D. Now for those of you who are even younger, you may be aware of the most recent Duke Nukem game, which was an absolute flop, because it was rubbish. Check this one out. I'm not kidding you. Apogee, Apogee Software Productions, Duke Nukem, Episode 1, Shrapnel City. We'll press 1 for help. Start new game, restore an old game, blah de blah, blah de blah, blah de blah, blah de blah, blah blah blah. We're going to start a new game. So you're the pitiful hero they sent to stop me. I, Dr. Proton, will soon rule the world. You're wrong, Proton Breath. I'll be done with you and still have time to watch Oprah. Okay. Oprah made it into a Duke Nukem game. Never thought I'd see that. Boom, 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 boom. Boom. So here we are. I'm not kidding you, folks. This is it. This is the first Duke Nukem game. As you can see, it's pretty cool. You can jump. You can shoot. Um, that's about it, really. You can jump on things some more. And it is literally, folks, a... Well, it's a platformer, essentially. Can I get that? Yep, can get that. Now, annoyingly, I can't play this on a gamepad. So I'm playing it how it was... Damn, there's an enemy there. I'm playing this how it was meant to be played. With just the... I can't get that guy. Oh, God damn it, you stupid robot. Stop killing me. I mean, this is why I'm including this in a strange game Saturday. This is the only reason why. I mean... Who would have really thought... See, oh yeah, drink soda to increase your health. Now that I agree with, Duke. The fact of the matter is that in this game, in order to heal, you need to drink cola, which I am absolutely fine with. Because I drink cola to heal, to heal too. But what just gets me about this, folks, is that who would really have thought that Duke Nukem could have come from this to sort of where it's gone now, which the most recent game. Secret tip. Eat turkey to increase your health. Okay, we've got floor turkey. I mean, how did Duke Nukem get to where it is? I mean... I've always been a Duke Nukem fan. I really have. Well, come on, guys. The most recent game. I mean, come on. Alright, I need to get that key, I'd say. Oh, I remember this bit. The There's a door over here that's locked. Can I get over there? Yep, I can. Look at how like, things just drop on your head from the middle of nowhere. And I just killed that, I didn't mean to kill it. Yes, I've done that. Okay, open the door. Hello. Oh, nasty. Forgot about those dynamites. So if you compare this to the kind of later installments in the series, it is obviously considerably different. But that's why I'm including it, because... Oh. That doesn't look good. Do you have to destroy it? I can't actually remember this. I bet if we walk into that, you die. Oh no, we can destroy it. Cool. That worked. Press the up arrow to open the door. 
No, I want to go down here. Probably gone wrong here. Press that. Okay, press that to activate that. Woo! Okay, nothing up there that's particularly interesting. So that's why I'm including it, folks, because it's just a game that... You wouldn't automatically think that you knew can came from here. Come on, die, you stupid scumbag aliens. Now, I'm pretty sure I used to play this at my old uh, childminders back in the day. George, if you're watching, Barbara and George, who were epic, epic people. I'm sure George, who was a bit of a gamer, had this game, I'm pretty sure, anyway. Oh, cool, where are we now? We'll read this. You are entering the next level. Now is a good time to save your game. I don't need to save. Okay, next level. And you can't kill them, I don't think. Now, if you're wondering where I got this beautiful game from, I got it from goodoldgames.com. They've got the whole series on there. That was really rubbish. I couldn't even kill any of them. But I do need that key, one would assume. Okay, we've got a key. That's a good start. Damn it. I messed up the timings there. I mean, I do wonder what the actual point of getting some of these things is. Is it literally just like points and that? God damn it, every time you go over those, those things actually attack you. Ah, good bit of health there. I'll take that health, thank you. And for those who've played the most recent instalment, I'm not a fan of it. I think many of the, I'm not a video game reviewer by any means, but I think the issue was, folks, that, don't get me wrong, Duke Nukem 3D has some really adult moments in it, but it, it, it that's not the whole reason for playing it. It's also got a good gameplay, and... It's subtly disgusting. Surprise, Duke! I'll be tracking your every move with my security camera system. Wow, that is such an unscary thing for, like, a supervillain to tell us about. Okay, come on, dude. Oh, you still got me. Damn it. Tell you what, dude. How do you feel when you ain't got a camera? I'm drilling now. And those who haven't played Duke Nukem 3D, by the way, I really advise you to. Amazing little game is Duke Nukem 3D. They know me, folks. I'm a massive modder. I would advise anybody to mod that game because if you get some of like the more advanced shaders for it and things. can really make it look quite beautiful. I've got some videos of it on YouTube, so I really would, uh, I really would give it a try if I were you. I've got to stand on there to shoot the rest. Boom, 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 boom. I want you in my room. Let's spend the night together from now until for uh, What the hell was that thing? You're not getting me today, sir. Oh, look how annoying them spikes are. They only actually go up when you jump over them. Damn it, I couldn't even move that. Well, they, you can kill those, that's not bad. Ha! <laughs> I'm not falling for that Acme trick. I'm into the exit, though. That's good. Right, I need to find a special access card that looks like a computer board. That's fine. Oh, helicopters as well. 
helicopter is rather annoying. It seems to be following me. Ha, ah, we got you, sir. We got you. Hey, we got a D there. It's not every day you pick up a D. Oh, darn you, you stupid dynamite. See, playing this on a keyboard is actually pretty damn difficult. I would love to find a different weapon, but... Bonk. The nuclear molecule increases your health to maximum. Press the up to... Oh, okay, we can activate the transporter if we want. Okay, activated it. I assume I'm supposed to do that. Don't need that health. Why am I collecting radios as well? That's something I don't quite understand. See, the enemy... The book I can speak. The enemies are so strange. I was, oh, I got hit by a dynamite there, didn't I? Ah, now that was a molecule or whatever. Ah, good, we can use the red key there. Bonk, you're dead. Bonk, alright, I need a green key now. Okay. I'll tell you what, folks. I might very quickly just switch games here so we get to see Duke Nukem 2 as well. So bear with me, folks. And this is the second game. Well, it wasn't that popular, Apogee. Neo LA, the future. After a minute, are we? Whoa! We've got an improvement. Smiley face. <laughs> Epic. I am back. Really? Well, I'm Necro. Nice to meet you back. <laughs> so this is a oh look, Oprah's there again. So this is, I think, I'm sure other people do as well, this is where the kind of more cocky Duke Nukem came in. The more... Hmm. I don't know. I we're up against the Riga Latins. Why have you got pink jeans on, Duke? What the hell's that? Yeah, Duke Nukem's becoming cockier by the second. Look, just get us out of the chair, give us a gun, and let's do this shizzle. Super Mega Encelofax Sucker. Look, you're an alien force, right? Why don't you just invade Earth? Why on Earth would Duke's brain patterns actually conquer the Earth as well? Look, I don't know what you're playing at, Mr. Weird Brain. Well, I'm gonna kill you. It's all fine. For his day, you know, this is quite a long intro. My secret explodo molar. <laughs> oh my. 
My God. And you see, that's a quote from uh, Jukum 3D. That's one of his quotes when he kills stuff. This is too easy. Alright then. Let's get stuck in. We're going to start a new game. Select episode. I think. Should we have a bit of fun and like try a, a later episode? Let's try that one. Let's try and get our spaceship. We'll play on less enemies. Yeah, we'll play on easy for now because we're only trying to show the game. The controls are a bit nicer as well. It's got quite a nice sound to it, that gun. Oh, I can aim up as well now. Cool. Lots of coke there, which is what I always like to see. Ugh. You can see, folks, it's a very minor upgrade from the first, but the, you know, the, the premise still stands, run and gun type thing. Now that's what I was after, folks. Oh, I'm sorry, folks, I just nearly burped there, I apologise. The ship uses to get out of this level. You can fly anywhere, and your weapon is very powerful. It doesn't sound that powerful, Duke. What the hell am I killing there? Bring this special crystal globe back to the pedestal to receive a bonus, I bet it says. I'm going to dine him in it anyway, folks. It doesn't really matter. I've just realised this is, like, very similar to the ship that crashes in Duke Nukem 3D. Whoa! By the way, folks, this is the kind of original Duke Nukem games, and this is where Duke Nukem 3D and the most recent instalment of the Duke Nukem franchise both came from. Just shows that Duke has been a long way. I was an Ecroscope. This was Strange Game Saturday. Thanks for watching.